G'day! In today's video, I've got an Zeus 2070 Super dual fan model. This one here, I'll be opening it up to replace some thermal paste on it, as it has a few years to it. We're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, some isopropyl alcohol, and we'll find out along the way how much of this back plate we truly need to remove. I'm going to go with these screws here. And we'll see where we end up. So this one, I'm not sure of their overall performance these days, but being it's a few years old now, a refresh of the thermal paste certainly can't hurt. Or at least it should not hurt, as long as you don't accidentally bend or damage the card. These, I remember the 2070s when they came out were pretty popular. 2070 Supers, I can't say I've had much experience with them. Because it was a generation that kind of popped out and and got briefly overshadowed. So with that done, looking around, we have this screw over here as well. There we go. No, I think everything's gonna need to go. So let's not stuff around and just simply do it. Don't know if the back brace will come off first. Yep, like that. I've already given it a bit of a blast with an air compressor, so I probably need to do it again. It does have this very oily look going on to it. So with that removed, we have the fan shroud that comes off. Must be RGB controlled by the looks of it. Two massive individual coolers. It almost reminds me of an Intel cooler from the Pentium 4 era. Uh, this is being a bit challenging. There we go. DC. Now if I try and lift this up and fold it forward. There we go. Lift up, fold forward, and we see some very, very dry thermal paste. So that will definitely be getting some some work done to it. Now I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and just some tissue paper. So I push this up. Should be right. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on here. And simply wipe over it. Pretty good. I'll slide this down and focus on the core itself. All the silicon. Stubborn thermal paste on the sides there. Should be able to eventually get it. Sometimes go over with a toothbrush. Some people screaming at me right now, calling me an absolute idiot. But personally, I've never had any dramas using a toothbrush around the CPU die, or CPU or GPU die. Okay, one last clean now. And one of the differences I always fought with the Super Series was, I remember the 16, 60 Super versus 1660 and the difference I thought there was the VRAM. I always thought that the, um, the base model card, the non-Super edition, was running GDDR6 and I always thought that the Super model was running GDDR6X. Uh, okay. Push that up. 
There we go. Now from here, I'm going to put on some Arctic MX4 thermal paste. Dab that around, get that in most places. You do want to make sure you cover all the edges. As there is no integrated heat spreader. So if you don't put thermal paste there, it's not going to transfer heat from there. Smear it around. Get a fairly generous amount on there. That's going to squish down perfectly fine. As I said, hate on it all you like. Now next up, what I like to do is I'll re well, I'll reconnect the LEDs back up. Spin that around, push that in. Sorry, it's off camera. Over here, make sure the pins line up. Push. Now what I like to do from here is flip it over and line up the holes from here. So I can see here, here, here and here. I'll line that up. Normally it'd be right from there. Now the back plate didn't really do too much. So I'm just gonna go like this. Here. I don't know why there is that oily look that's on here. But whatever, we'll, we'll go with it for now. I just put on there. Yep. Put this over the top. Like so. And now put those screws back in. That's a very simple, straightforward thermal paste replace on the Zeus Jewel 2070 Super 8 gig model. Hope this helps you. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Uh, line this up over here. Yeah, but I'm loosen these ones up a bit as it is out of alignment. Yeah, right to tighten it all up, and we should be pretty sweet from here. Hope that helps, and see you guys later. Bye.